So, oh, let me get this. My hat. Put my hat on. What's that? Oh, I had Sashmo on last time. Sashmo. Uh, Louis Armstrong. Cancerian. Well, he claimed he was born on July, on July 4th. I don't believe that. You know when I think he was born? Let me find another thing. Uh, I think... Um, I think he was born on July 2nd. Why do I say that? Let me tell you why I say that. Because all his life, he was always coupled up with someone. You know what I mean? With, with a woman. You know, he's always been married. Even when he left, when his, the, you know, the marriage didn't work, when he left the woman, he gave her everything. And just started over from me. That's a typical Cancerian, and that's a typical person, like a two personality. They have to always be coupled up. You understand? They have to have a, a partner. Anyway, that's anything. So I took that one off, and look what I'm going to put on. I'm going to put on because. Let's see. Ouch! Just stuck myself with this pin. The heck's wrong with me? Well, I just actually didn't stick it like that. I mean, I made a big deal of it, like it was, like it was some. Big thing, but it wasn't, you know. Come on, thing. It's just not gonna work. Maybe I shouldn't put anybody on. Maybe that's a message. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Hey, I'm gonna tell you ahead of time. Usually I don't. I'll put Patrice Lumumba on, you know, because I think of Patrice Lumumba, even though it's, you know, calling, I think it was like a, a Southern African kind of person. We're gonna talk about that for a second. But before I do that, hey, you know what we gotta do? Hey, Sashno, you don't belong there. Along over there with the rest of the people's. Um, so I got my tea. I'm doing tea now. Actually, I'm still on uh, the lemon zinger. No, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I have this whole uh, sample pack that got a bunch of stuff in there. Or oh, they got lemon zinger, peppermint, honey, vanilla, chamomile, sleepy time. I think they got two things to go to bed. I don't know. I have to do the peppermint. I don't really like those mint kind of things. Uh, anyway, so um, so I'm still on a lemon zinger. Give me a little pack to keep it fresh or whatever have you. So I got that. And uh, well, I used to do it. You know, my grandmother, she taught me how to drink tea. You know, you had to have a Lipton flow through tea bags. You know, have to, and you had that little thing on it. The little tab, you know. What, 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 is, what you should do, what I used to do. Let's take that tab. I can't show you here because I gotta pull the thing up. Well, let me just pull it up like this. Show you something there. So when the tab was on the thing, you would wrap the tab. Put my hand. Right you would wrap the tab, the, the the string around the thing, and with the tab, and just push the thing to get the excess or the you know, the the, the essence of the thing. That well, I'm doing it with my finger right now, with my hands right now. Oof! Into the thing. <sighs> my grandmother told me a lot of stuff. Okay, so let me leave that there. Put that in the saucer. Then the other thing she told me, when you drink, she also sometimes put milk in it. I, I wouldn't do the milk thing. But I mean, to chill, to, to take the hot heat off it a little bit. And also what she would do is near the end, you if, if you have some uh, teeth fall into your saucer or something like that, you know, you take it and pour it into the cup to make, again, to, to, to cool out the tea. How do you cool out tea to make hot? It doesn't matter. Like that. So I got that. Oh, yeah, let me take my uh, V12. I'm going to take B12 over here. I'm not going to take it right now. Tea's too hot. I'm not going to eat tea right now. Like that. Also, I got some, um, I got some maples. Ooh. <clears throat> One of the sweet. You know when the United States was born? Let me, this thing is kind of dark here, isn't it? Give me some more light. Yeah. Some light on the case. <laughs> light on this United States. <laughs> um, a little bit. There we go. Um, Unless this was born, you know, they, the, the sweetness, because remember, it's the Northeast, but, but the South, whatever it is, but they, up in the Northeast, they had um, um, maple syrup, you know, maple maple syrup, and they would use it as a sweetener, and there was a thing between maple syrup and cane sugar, and of course, well, cane sugar won out, because maple syrup, you can only get it from maple trees, and there was, you know, the, 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 the plant, you can make sugar, uh, cane sugar plantations. Large swaths of land is not, not, not enough maple trees, but you have the cane and the thing. You understand what I'm saying? So anyway, so I use, you know, so I'm, I'm not going to put, I'm not going to sweeten this tea. I'm going to be be raw. I'm, this is an homage to uh, my associate down in Dombasa, because he got, the police tried to beat him up. <laughs> the, the South African um, uh, SAPS uh, Police Services. Yeah, South African Police Services. That's the name of it. 
saps. You know? uh, so anyway, so that's 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 when they happen. South Africa, man, Africa itself. I heard a report. Wow, this is something. I'm still the slightest. It's still not enough for me. I'll leave it alone. Make like I'm dark skin. I'll be really dark. So instead of coffee, I'll be dark. You know. I mean, anyway, uh, there's some happen stuff with this pandemic. This panic. You know, this panic. Um, uh, it's interesting because people like I think uh, South Africa. A lot of people are using this excuse to do stuff. You know, I remember one time I was in South Africa and I was talking to somebody. I think the guy was from. I forgot where he was from. Not, not from Zimbabwe. It, it was from Zambia. Or I forget, or DRC, some some place where he's from. Anyway, so I said, well, you know, well, how'd you how'd you get here? Just just regular conversation. Well, you know, it, it, you know, we have problem with the borders. So, oh no, we don't take no borders. So, what are you talking about? He says, hey, this is our region. You know, we there are ways. We know ways to get there. So there's a lot of kinds to last twenty years, whatever. Uh, at least since whatever, uh, because of the economy in South Africa so much that. A lot of people from from these other places, uh, the number of neighboring countries, but not so much in Namibia because they're all uh, connected at the hip. But you know, like, like the DRC, uh, um, 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 not so much either uh, Botswana. They have a whole other thing, but uh, not even Lesotho because they're still. I want to keep that anyway. But places like like uh, um, um, not even Mozambique really. They, Mozambique had a different kind of thing. It's the language, you know, like that. But mostly. Uh, uh, Zimbabwe, Zambia, well, DLC, even though they have French, you know, whatever have you. Certain countries, they, um, and then of course, if you, if you get, if you get uh, Zimbabwe, you know what I mean, or even Zambia, then you have countries, you know, uh, uh, people coming down from, or Kenya, you know what I mean, uh, uh, you have people coming down from other countries, like, then you have the whole Eastern African thing coming on down. Anyway, look what I got. I'm get that in just a second. Let me just pick them. I know, I don't really snack a lot. But there's certain things I really like, chocolate, of course. But then I found this thing here. First of all, there's New York kettle chips. I like the kettle process when they make the kettle chips, right? But they also have sweet potato. I like sweet potato. Now they have sweet potato, um, uh, kettle cooked sweet potato chips. I just got to try it. Just say, before I take my tea, let me just try it. Mmm. I like it. Take my B12 with this. So I'll do that after I talk to you all. Anyway, so what's happening now? Very quite interesting. Okay. Is that especially South Africa, but I think a lot of other countries, southern southern region countries, maybe all of African countries, are closing their basically they're saying, Hey, um, you gotta go. <laughs> so like they 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 they're repatriating, what how you say that? A lot of Zimbabweans, they kicking people out of South Africa. Let me just put it that way. Which is another reason why I can't really go back right away, even if they open up the borders, because, man, the way people are panicked, you know what I mean? They'll say, this American, he's the one that brought it here, or whatever. If somebody gets, you know what I mean? So I've, I've got problems, you know, <laughs> when I go back. Lord, it's going to be a problem. But here's the thing. So now you have all these, especially governments, because they're strained with with with, um, with healthcare, whatever. Have even the most most places have free healthcare, um, but they don't want to take care of these. You know, it's not really. It is even xenophobia, but it's a it's a thing where um, people have have Zimbabweans, you know, whoever Zambians, you know, you know, they have invest. They have their generation even. In a sort of weird sense, the Chinese, you know, other people, and I think all these people are going to be affected. You know, I don't know about the economics in the Chinese because you know the Chinese they just buy their way into you know they, they just steal your stuff. But the thing is, they're starting with their own. You know what I mean? So a lot of these Zimbabweans, this is going to be quite interesting if they all have to go back in mass, like almost two thousand whatever Zimbabweans have to all go back at the same time. Whoa, what's going to happen with that? This is quite interesting, you know. This pandemic, like I say, opportunistic. So some certain governments are taking the taking their whatever to do whatever. You know, people have their hidden agendas. The hidden agendas are not hidden anymore. You know. So there you go, the pandemic. Now here's the thing. Here's here's what I should say. Now I'm, I'm gonna leave that some some other thing. But here's the thing. Just understand. You know, you can be ADOS, but if you're trying to go someplace else right now, it's ADOS. 
you still, no matter what you say, those people who think they're pan Africanists or whatever have you, Pan Africa is not panning. <laughs> They're not pulling together. I mean, I should say, you know, people in charge right now are not pulling together. So I don't know how you're going to pan it. You know what I mean? Uh, the thing is, you just have to be yourself. But, you know, I don't know. I, 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 just boost your immune system. That's all I can say. I being me. T, from the Patterson's taking the trench to bed, letting you know what I only suspect from an ADOS. That's just ADOS. That's, that's right there. ADOS. Talk about Afro right now. Reality. See that reality part right there? Talk to you again sometime.